What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here and today we're in the regular season finale for the Philadelphia Eagles Connected Franchise Mode Year 1. As you can see in the little milestone goals, Chase Daniel is in for the near record setting Carson Wentz. I know it kind of sucks. I was so close from breaking all the rookie passing uh, records for Carson Wentz, but... Having a healthy quarterback going into the playoffs is a lot more important than breaking records that don't really mean anything. I think he tied the passing touchdown record. I was a couple, I think, 200 yards shy of breaking the passing yard record. But, I mean, it's still a kind of tough game. I don't want to lose it, but, I, you know, coming out healthy is a lot more important. So, we're going with Daniel. I think we got Wendell Smallwood starting at running back. Uh, I think couple things on defense I did keep Fletcher Cox in because I really want to try to get that sack record I know maybe that's a little risky but I mean at the end of the day you don't want to put in a awful lineup it's still the Dallas Cowboys still a game you need to win I want to try to sweep the entire division this year it's Smallwood man he made a bunch of plays man and again another thing with Smallwood's play and with Kenyon Barner's play they're making it questionable for me to go out and get a running back I think I do because I still want that prototypical power back because I want to run out of the eye a lot more uh, in season two of this year two or whatever you want to call it of the Eagles Connected Franchise mode, but um, we'll, we'll wait and see. So yeah, again, final matchup, a divisional matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. We're right now, I think we're five and zero against everyone in the division. That's five and zero with Carson Wentz. Now we're going with Chase Daniel. So it's, I think Dallas actually might have a shot in the playoffs as well if they win this game. So again, I don't want them to win. I think if I beat Dallas, they. They need to win this game to make the playoffs. So Nelson Aguilar with a great route. Uh, still keep it Aguilar. Then I think actually we still have most of our starters at wide out playing as well. I don't think I've had a single knock outside of when Aguilar got hurt. I think week two or week three. So that's why we feel a little bit safe there. But, you know, Dallas is going with all their starters because they're playing for a playoff spot. We already have it on lock. So more so padding the stats of a couple guys here. So now it's 7 0. Early in the first quarter, Tony Romo starting to do a little bit of work. Six of eight for 66 yards. Uh, I, man, that offensive line came to play today. It was very tough for me to break any sort of tackles here, especially with Fletcher Cox. You know, I'm a Fletcher Cox main user guy. And uh, 70, I don't know who 70 is. I think that's Zach Martin. Absolutely fucking stone, stonewalled me there. And there's a great run from Ezekiel Elliott. Maybe a bust in real life. Okay, a lot of fumbles there. Alfred Moore starting to do his carries, but in this connected franchise mode, he is doing very well and finding more than enough food on his plate to eat. So now it's 7-7, potentially on pace to be a very high-scoring game here against the Cowgirls as we get Darren Sproles to return the punt. Is this Darren Sproles' last season with the Philadelphia Eagles? I don't know. I hope not. But we all get to see how this regression system works in this year's Madden. It could, unfortunately, be the last year Darren Sproles is on the Philadelphia Eagles. So now we got still a minute left in the first quarter. Dropping back on the play action pass to Jordan Matthews. I mean, they absolutely fucking hook, line, and sinker in that. Uh, get in the end zone, you bitch. 39. Is that Brandon Carr? I don't think so. You can't catch Jordan Matthews. Great play there. Really going to help boost Chase Daniels' confidence. Oh, look at that. Over 1,250 yards receiving on the season for Jordan Matthews. Really emerging as a wide receiver one in this league. And I'm kind of going to pat myself on the back there because we started out with him in the slot. And I said, fuck it. You know what? I'm going to gamble. I think Jordan Matthews can play on the outside. And he is paying dividends right now, having one hell of a season. Doesn't matter who's that quarterback. Carson Wentz, Chase Daniel, he's making plays. So now it was 14-7. to Dallas added a field goal. And we're picking up here third and six as the second quarter is under plays. Chase Daniel hits. Darren Sproles who manages to hold on to the ball after a big hit across the middle there to move the chains. 150 total passing yards here. Uh, predominantly in the first quarter. We're keeping the ball on the air, but I'm pretty sure Wendell Swollen might not be, you know, super keen on that idea because this is his chance to shine, his chance to prove that he could be a starter running back. And we're airing the ball out, but, you know, I'm impressed with what I've seen thus far. Very, very bad pass there. Uh, Chase Daniel looks so good so far. 150 yards, two touchdowns, but there's been a couple questionable plays where if Dallas had a little bit better playmaking, they probably would have forced an interception. So we got to tighten it up a little bit, maybe go to the run. Nope, we're still going to air it out. Oh my god, I should remember this. Oh, fuck. No, no, wait. That, there, there is an insane, maybe the best catch of this entire connected franchise mode uh, at some point in this video as we get a juicy pass, interfe uh, pass interference call there on Anthony Brown. I should probably clickbait the title with this or make it like the thumbnail. Did I actually? Th I think I might have made the thumbnail. But you're going to see the nastiest catch I have made in this entire connected franchise mode as we hit DGB. Nah, I fucking dropped it. Um. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't wait for that to come up. I don't know. I think it, it might be for halftime. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, there you go. Hyping it up already. Just you fucking wait. 
As we continue to, for some reason, throw the ball, I guess we're forcing it to DGB. I think we're trying to get him his 10th touchdown of the season. I think that was the reason. I don't know if the little little icon thing's going to pop up there for a goal, but I believe that is DGB's 10th touchdown of the season. Almost 100% sure. So that's why we're forcing it and not giving the ball to Wendell Smallwood. But, you know, 21-10 to 10 for the Eagles here as we look to have another comfortable division victory. Okay, third and six, three minutes left just for the two-minute warning. Dallas trying to put some points on the board. Again, struggling to make any plays with Fletcher Cox. And then, oh, my God, I absolutely got blown up there. Jenkins trying to take the angle on the – oh, what? Okay, that was actually – I remember that. That was fucking gl glitchy as shit. I don't know if it was because my controller was low on battery health. But I tried to square him up and just hit a tackle. I wasn't going to fucking, you know, go for the hit stick, go for anything fancy. I just wanted to bring him down. I got Jenkins. He's a solid tackler. And then for some reason, he just took an automatically horrendous angle to make that catch. There's still some shit in Madden that they need to tweak and make a little bit more realistic. And I think open field tackles. All right, look at that, man. Come on, bro. Come on. Especially a player like Malcolm Jenkins. Like 92 overall, high awareness, solid tackling. He should make plays like that. Again, airing the ball out. Looking like Carson Wentz back there. As we had Jordan Matthews for a great time reception. Great time reception. Uh, it's 21-20 here just before halftime. I think we've had two interceptions thus far with Car uh, Chase Daniel. I'm not showing them because it's fucking Chase Daniel. Okay, it's This game here is pretty much shits and giggles. Trying to stay healthy. So these interceptions, a lot of them, I'm just trying to make plays for my wide receivers to help them with their stat line. 13-22, uh, 198 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Look at Jordan Matthews' stat line before halftime, man. 144 yards. He is going off. He's trying to get the receiving record for this season. At least the lead. Okay, here you go. Watch this shit. Oh! <laughs> Flag on the play. That's like an Odell Beckham catch. That's a pass interference call. That might be... For some reason, too, it ruined it because of the penalty. It doesn't show the replay. And then I actually I butchered it. I was trying to go into the little replay thing myself to get the highlight of it. But, I mean, just just rewind the video back 10 seconds. That might That is, without a doubt, I'd say the best catch in this entire year one connected franchise mode thus far. I don't know if we'll make anything like that in the playoffs. But another touchdown. 11 touchdowns on the year for DGB. As we're up 28-20. to 20. Dallas got the ball back. We're now five minutes into the third quarter. Second and five. They're in scoring position. Hopefully we can hold them to a field goal here. Zeke Lights having himself a nice little day. Like I said, man, kudos to this Dallas offensive line. The first time we played them, I was able to get after 20 real. This time, I, they were just smothering me at the line of scrimmage. Using Fletcher Cox, I absolutely got nothing. That whole uh, right-hand side of the offensive line was on point this game, unfortunately for me. Trying to break that sack record for Mr. Fletcher Cox. It wasn't going to come. Unless we can get something going in the fourth. So I was thinking, maybe I should fucking use your brain and grain. Maybe the computer can have better luck with Fletch. But uh, maybe it's just me being a stubborn asshole. We're staying with it. Oh, we're so close every time, man. There you go, Mel. Who was that? I don't know who that was. 21 making the tackle. I think that was Leos McKelvin. Still good enough to move the chains for Dallas. First and goal on the two. Let's be honest. They're going to try to pound this in. I don't think they're going to let Tony Rumble throw it. So let's make sure the blitz heavy. Probably should use your... St uh, Steven Talk, I got my goddamn backups in. We'll go Hicks. Let's see what they're going to do here. Okay. All right. Guess they weren't running it. I guess they figured it with this offensive line and good running back. We're going to have to throw it to Lucky Whitehead because why not? So now it's 28-26. They're going for two to tie the game. I think, like I said, are we going to buy the run? They get the fullback in there. Or are they going to do something stupid and throw it to Lucky Whitehead again? I think we'll control. We'll use the linebacker here. They send Dez in motion. Again, they're throwing it. What the fuck, man? Oh. That was fucking what he called Mark too. That was frustrating about that. That was that was Hicks Mark who I decided to use her. So I guess I fucked up on that. So able. Anyways, at the end of the third, we're able to get a field goal to make it 31-28. So we're getting the lead. And then Wendell Smallwood making big time plays. He's, he's gonna run Rolando McLean. He is great, great fucking run there. I just passes out at the goal line. Doesn't matter. Did the hard work to get it there anyways. I'm man, I'm impressed, man. With Ken with he's his first start. I think he's had a couple snaps here and there. But uh, he's starting the game. 225 rush yards in pretty much a quarter. He has a quarter in a game. So I'm very impressed with what he has done. As uh, I don't know what the score is now. 36, 35 to 28. Something like that. Game clip recorded. I, anyone know how to turn that shit off on your Xbox? I'm kind of pissed off with that. It ruins all my fucking clips. So it's 38, 28. Seven minutes left in the fourth. Dallas is in scoring position on the three. We bring the blitz unmarked. Michael Kendricks, half a sack, four tackles. Having himself a nice game. It's highly questionable as to why we are still having a lot of our defensive starters in here. I don't know what fucking uh, 
what Dougie P, the Duggler, is trying to prove here. Maybe just, you know, the, the need to deprive Dallas of playing playoff football. It doesn't matter, though. Ezekiel Elliott runs it in. Unmarked, man. We struggle with the run D. So that was 35-35, I believe. 35-28, 38, whatever the fuck it was. We're up by three. Absolutely bite on the play, actually. They had Agnew. I think he's their fullback. Ugh, just blown coverage again. I don't know. Tony Romo's having himself a day. 29-39, 300 some yards. Like I said, this is what happens when you play your starters, but then you go with your backups in the secondary. You, there's only 350 yards. Yeah, no shit. Tony Romo's having one hell of a year. There you go. Cheese again. Hits Jason Witten. That combination that's been lethal for so many seasons. 42 to 38. I think at this point, I pulled Chase Daniel. He threw three interceptions. So I put in Logan Thomas, my third quarterback. And maybe that's not the best idea if you want to try to come back and win against Dallas. But we'll see what we can do. Three minutes left. But they have the ball in scoring territory. Our goal here is to hold them to a field goal. So it's still a one-score game. As a two-minute warning is looming. Look at that. 365 passing yards for Dallas. And they're just going to keep trying to run it. More Madden cheese. Whatever, man. We, at least we brought him down behind the line of scrimmage. Malcolm Jenkins making up for that botched tackle later in the game. We're calling our timeouts. We're trying to conserve as much clock as possible. Third and two here. A nice stop would do us wonders. We're trying to get back. At least yeah, another stop field goal range. We could do this. Dez is having himself a day. Seven receptions, 110 yards. I don't know what they're doing. They're sending Terrence Williams in motion. What are we going to do? Oh, yeah. 32. Eric Rowe, that's on you, bro. At least he's acknowledging it. That's another touchdown to Dallas. We're unable to do anything with Logan Thomas. It finished 52-38, a very high-scoring matchup here in the NFC East. As Dallas, I believe, with that win, gets into the playoffs. A not very good showing from my Philadelphia Eagles, especially me on defense. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats here. Chase Daniel, 255 yards, four touchdowns, three interceptions. Come on, bro. Come on. I'll let you look at the rest of the Wendell Smallwood. Six, only six attempts, 23 yards per carry, 143 yards, one touchdown. Matthews had himself a day, 11 receptions, 195 yards, and one touchdown. DGB with maybe the catch of this entire CFM. Three receptions, 87 yards, two touchdowns. I'll let you guys finish looking at the stats here as I wrap it up. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Philadelphia Eagles Connected Franchise Mode. Next episode will be the wild card round of the playoffs. You'll have to tune in to see who we're playing there, but we're in the playoffs. A Leicester City-like run here for the Eagles. So I hope you guys tune in. If you like the video, subscribe. Smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace. Out.